Hey guys, it's Ed Bud here. The toque is back by popular demand. Good thing too, because I'm feeling rather chilly today and sort of cold of heart as well. What with what's going on around the world. Not gonna dwell on that though right now. Just stay safe, people. Today I've got a kind of three-way comparative shootout between three fast shoes, the Nike Vaporfly Next Percent, the Vaporfly 4% Flyknit, and of course, the Nike Air Zoom Alpha Fly Next Percent. I'm convinced it's getting lighter, you know. Before we get started on this one, guys, remember to hit subscribe, like the video, and click the bell for notifications as to when new videos are launched. So many of you have been asking me about the features and the performance between these three shoes, so here goes. My current half marathon personal best is actually in this shoe, the Nike Vaporfly 4% Gakuso. I find it's slightly softer upper actually on this shoe compared to the 4% Flyknit. It is very slightly different. Uh, it's very rare, this shoe. I know, actually I've never ever seen another pair of these anywhere, I'm certainly on foot. Um, but it's a shoe I've really enjoyed, very light shoe. This one comes in about 230 grams in my size, which is a UK size 11, US size 12. It's still looking pretty good despite some dirt and grime. The heel counter actually is something that's quite different on all three shoes, so I'm going to actually start there for a change. It's quite minimal here and it's actually featured on the outside of the shoe's upper. I find the slightly more rigid nature actually of the heel counter here a big improvement over the 4% Flyknit. Obviously the durability for the Vaporfly 4% Flyknit was a bit of an issue. I think these have got about 68 miles on them. There's a bit of wear here on the outer side of the heel. Apart from that though, they're looking pretty good. I think people get a little bit worried when they see the paint peeling off the outsole here, but it's nothing to really worry about. The shoe still functions and performs as you would expect. I mean, there's some minimal kind of outsole damage here, but it's nothing really to worry about. It's far from bad, really. It's kind of good. Obviously, anybody that's running this shoe will know about the somewhat slippery nature of the outsole. In any rain or damp kind of terrain, you are going to slide around a little bit. That side, the rubber section of the outsole does hold up really well in terms of wear. I got my green Nike Next Percents here. There's about 83 miles on these now and looks a little bit more worn out, but looks can be deceiving. The rubber portions are looking great here on the outsole, actually, no wear at all, really. I found traction with these a little improved over the 4% Flyknit. Certainly cornering and any turns on sort of more precarious terrain weren't anywhere near as dangerous. Really does need a bit of a wash, this one. Certainly the outsole surface is greater here to provide more traction, and it's actually a little lighter than the 4% Gyakuso. This comes in about 225 grams, so very, very slightly lighter than the 4% Gyakuso. Do you find the rubber in the front here is a little softer though? I found on occasion that sharp stones or thorns actually got embedded into the outsole here. So how do these other two shoes hold up against the Air Zoom Alpha Fly Next Percent? So with the Alpha Fly, there is a much greater surface area to the outsole. And you could include the midsole in that as well, I guess. Looking at it from this kind of perspective, you can see that there's quite an aggressive outsole pattern here. Those rubber kind of grip areas are much longer, much wider. I found the grip with this shoe far superior to the 4% Flyknit and better than that in the next percent. There's a couple of people commented that it looks overly high, it looks kind of like you're on stilts or something. But believe me, that isn't really apparent when it's actually on foot. It feels much more stable to me than the next percent or the 4% Gakuso. I don't know whether it's like the consistency of the foam or something, it does feel a little bit different to me. It doesn't feel anywhere near as spongy. I think one big thing that impresses me with this shoe over both the 4% and the next percent is that of over the top of the foot lockdown. The upper is more restrictive, it's less flexible and certainly feels more secure. But at the same time also less present on the foot as well. The laces are still offset very slightly as in the next percent but not quite at the same angle. The ones on the next percent really do kind of fall off to the side whereas in the Alpha Fly it's nowhere near as pronounced. Those of you that really relish a kind of cozy and protective heel, I think will really like the Alpha Fly. It does have a heel band 
around the Achilles area here. Although I think it's about an inch shorter in length than that on the next percent. The heel cup here is far more rigid and it's taller too. It comes a little higher up your Achilles. It's far less flexible than in the next percent. The next percent really just feels a lot more kind of flexible and less rigid actually than the upper on the Alpha Fly. Certainly around the toe box area actually, it's quite different. There's lots more rigidity here. There's a sort of tighter, thicker weave to the upper, but the rest of it, it's almost like a, a sock. I'm really liking the laces in the Alpha Fly. The instant I first tied them up, I could tell I was gonna enjoy them. There's really good grip to them. They seem to sort of really kind of come together and you feel once they're tied, they're not going anywhere. They slot really nicely through the eyelets and I found lockdown was really easy to achieve once the shoe was on foot. Moisture really easily escapes from the upper. I kind of aimed at some puddles on my second run in these and I found that when my foot did get wet, the shoe allowed my socks to kind of vent out the water that they soaked up. One very strange issue I have found is actually I did get quite a bit of debris and mud and stuff entering in some of the kind of holes here where the two pods separate here. There was quite a bit of muck. So you're probably gonna need some pipe cleaners or a toothbrush or something. Across the forefoot here, the Atom Knit's a lot more like the Fly Knit on the 4% Gekuso. That's really the only similarity between the uppers. So what I've tried to do is compile some Strava data between all three of these shoes really to draw some conclusions as to whether you know there's some significant differences when using this shoe. So I've looked at similar length runs with similar sort of efforts over a, the seven mile distance with kind of a straight consistent effort. I found the Alpha Fly gave me a slightly lower cadence than the next percent and the four percent. So I hit around 169 steps per minute in my seven mile kind of harder effort on Sunday evening. Heart rate was around 148 beats per minute. Completed the run in 49 minutes and nine seconds, giving a average pace of six minutes 59 per mile. A similar run back in November of last year in the 4% Flyknit had me clock in at 50 minutes 10 seconds, seven minutes 09 per mile. A slightly higher heart rate, but also a slightly higher cadence as well. Certainly feel that it's less of an effort to achieve that in the Alpha Fly, although you could put that down to my increase in mileage and improvement in form and greater frequency of training perhaps. So a similar effort in the Nike Next Percent, we're at about seven miles again at seven minutes, 21 seconds per mile. Heart rate was around 143 beats a minute and clocked in at around 51.29. Found the cadence was actually very, very similar in the Next Percent and the Alpha Fly. I have to say that the legs felt really great after yesterday's effort. Got up this morning and kind of felt like I hadn't even run the previous day. How many running shoes can you say make you feel like that? On looking at the stride length I'd recorded using the iSmooth Run app, the Alpha Fly clearly increases my stride length slightly, but I felt like I wasn't working quite as hard. I'll throw some of the stride length data up on the screen so you can draw your own conclusions from that. I think testament to the Zoom X again, it really does have some excellent properties in terms of reducing fatigue. Even in a recent race using the Vaporfly Next Percent, I didn't get towards the cadence I achieved in that harder effort in the Alpha Fly. Even in my first run in the Alpha Fly, I noticed that uh, again that stride length was a little higher than usual. Again, cadence wasn't quite at the top level it would have been had I been running in the 4%. On that seven mile initial effort, I hit about seven minutes, 16 seconds per mile and 51 minutes 03 on the clock. A similar length run in the next percent, I had about seven minutes, 21 seconds per mile pace, around about 51, 29 on the clock. Very similar heart rate, but a slightly lower stride length again. So I think the Alpha Fly definitely compares up uh, against the next percent. Closest thing I could find to that on Strava in terms of distance was my recent 10k effort at the Sherbourne Sports Centre 10k early in this month. On that 6.2 mile course I hit about 7 minutes 3 seconds per mile. I clocked in about 44 minutes 35 seconds. Heart rate was higher so about 155 beats per minute. But bear in mind there was some considerable elevation gain there. I think it was about 430 odd foot over the six miles. 
So it does seem like the Alpha Fly could lower the perceived effort, boost the pace, obviously with less fatigue perhaps over distance. So certainly the data looks promising. A harder effort certainly seemed to yield slightly less effort in terms of heart rate than even a recent race paced effort. Certainly going fast made me feel a lot better after the kind of challenging, stressful sort of times we're living in right now. Hopefully this current situation can bring the best out of us. It can kind of bring us together and enable us to realize what truly matters in life, which is each other. Got to cherish every single second that we have here. I'm hoping to get out in a much longer effort in these later on this week, kind of depending on what goes on, I guess. I'm kind of going day to day right now. If you've got any more questions for me about the Nike Air Zoom Alpha Fly Next Percent, yeah, I managed to say it all in one go. Please do comment below, post them there. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. It could be that I've got ridiculous amounts of time to answer those questions soon as well. I hope everybody's safe out there. I hope you're all looking after each other and your elders. Please remember to subscribe down here in the bottom corner. Make sure you click the bell for notifications, which is just below. Comment with your questions and share this video with your friends. Do give it a like because it does help us to get the video out to new people. My name's Ed Bud and I'll be seeing you.